Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about simplifying the holidays. Are you overwhelmed every holiday season? Have you considered running away from it all just to avoid all the stress that the holidays bring? Do you love the holidays but find that they have gotten away from the true spirit? Let's continue our month focusing on the holidays. Are you ready to clear your clutter and share your gifts with the world? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join me on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out as I teach you how to navigate the waters to declutter your life, get organized, and become more mindful. I'm an award-winning professional organizer, author, and certified life coach, and I destroy the box and examine clutter in all areas. Every episode, I'll give you take action steps that you can easily apply to your life. Come on, let's get started. Today's episode was inspired because I like to enjoy the holidays. I see so many people, friends, clients, families stressed out not worth it. When I simplified the holidays, I enjoyed them. I began simplifying the holidays many years ago. It was tough at first. I felt some guilt, felt like I wasn't doing enough. I was disappointing someone, letting someone else down. However, I stuck to my guns and I'm glad I did. Simplifying the holidays has made a huge difference for me. I'm not stressed anymore. I can enjoy the holidays, my husband, the cats, the people I choose to hang out with. Each year, I always examine what do I have scheduled, what's going on, is there anywhere else I can simplify? Have I started to add things in again? Feeling overwhelmed anywhere? I believe we would all be better off if we were all less stressed. Instead of crazy, Black Friday, how about if we were all kind and polite to each other and only shopping for what we truly needed instead of feeling like I'm missing out if I don't get this bargain? Here are my tips to simplify the holidays. Do less. Send a mass email instead of printing a bunch of cards. Have a potluck instead of cooking an elaborate meal. Don't attend every holiday party you've been invited to. Look to where you can do less. Where are you feeling miserable, overbooked, overloaded, overwhelmed? What drives you nuts every year? Begin there and see what you can cross off or delete. Buy less. You don't need to buy every person in your family several gifts. How about one or two? Better yet, don't give gifts. Who can you eliminate from your list? Don't let guilt or tradition have you waking up in January with credit card hangover. A lot of times, people might be feeling the exact same way as you do. I believe I've told this story on my podcast before, but it's a good story worth telling. We used to buy for everyone in my family. There are three children. I have one first cousin, technically more, but that's another story. Aunts and uncles. We aren't a particularly huge family. One year I got really overwhelmed. I was living in Los Angeles, had just moved into my own apartment, no roommate, and was feeling the pinch. I didn't want to spend the money, and it wasn't fun for me anymore. The next year, I had a conversation with my brothers. I'm like, love you, don't want to buy anything. Turns out, they were thinking the exact same way. We approached my father, and my dad said, let me talk to your aunts. They said, we love you, and we'd like to buy gifts for you. And hey, I don't want to deny anyone pleasure. So what my family does is the generation above buys for the generation below. So my father's at the grandfather level. He buys for his children, or rather, I should say my mother. 
and buy for the grandkids and cousins' children. Right now, I buy for just the kids. And when I get up to the grandparent cycle, then I'll buy for all the kids and their kids. It's worked really well for our family. I encourage you, don't be afraid. Have those conversations. Are you overwhelmed each holiday season? Do you try and stay organized but can't keep up with it all? Would you like to reduce your stress during the holidays instead of having it grow? My proven coaching, training, decluttering, and organizing tips can get you where you need to be quickly. Check out my class in MP3 or video format, How to Get Organized, Reduce Stress, and Stay Sane During the Holiday Season. Topics covered include organizing for the holidays, clearing clutter in all areas, including post-holidays, using technology to reduce holiday stress, and going green to save time and money. Go to reawakenyourbrilliance.com under the Life Organization tab where you'll see classes. Be green or eco-friendly. If you don't care about the polar bears, being green can save you time and money, and it can be a lot of fun. For example, for decorations, instead of buying a lot of plastic junk made in China, look to the outside to create something beautiful for your home. Smiles, hugs, encouragement are all free, and they could really make a difference to someone during the holidays. The holidays aren't a fun time for everyone. Some people are lonely. Some people have bad memories associated with the holidays. Reach out and support a friend or a stranger. Rethink your traditions. What is meaningful to you? What do you really desire to do? So many are trapped in what they don't want to do because of outdated traditions. I did Italian one Christmas dinner. We weren't with my family. My husband's Italian. I love all things Italian and Hawaiian. And I said, let's do something different. So I researched and found what was native to the area where his family in Italy grew up. Lots of fun and turned out pretty well if I do say so myself. I mentioned do less at the beginning. I'm going to mention it again. Have less decorations, less food, less things to do. A lot of times, less is really more. Focus on who brings you joy, what brings you joy, what makes you happy, what you truly desire to do. And finally, take time for reflection, especially if you don't do this on a regular basis. Of course, I'm going to mention gratitude because I'm so passionate about that. When we're in gratitude, we can't hold two opposing thoughts. I can't be in gratitude and be angry that I didn't get as much as the next kid down the block. When we're in gratitude, we can't be depressed, we can't be angry because we can't hold those two opposing thoughts. Make time for reflection and gratitude during the holidays. Especially if the holidays are hard for you, this can give you a much needed boost. If you are really getting into simplifying the holidays, where else in your life can you simplify? Relationships, clothes, finances. The more you simplify your life, I believe, the easier it becomes and allows you to focus on what you love, what you choose, what you desire. Remember, clutter is anything that's not important. Take actions from today's podcast. Decide where you could simplify for the holiday season. If you have a lot of resistance to simplifying, can you figure out where that's coming from? Create an action plan and small steps you will take to reduce, do less, simplify. Choose where you could be eco-friendly or green. 
reflect on where else you could simplify your life pre or post holiday. On next month's episode, we're talking about safely shopping online. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Are you ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Sign up for our newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and receive a free copy of 10 Steps to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would love it if you would rate and review the show because it really helps us in the search ranking. See you next Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Remember, when you clear your clutter, you can create the life you desire.